Hi folks, welcome back to the channel, Thailand Dreaming, love letters from retirement. Right at the moment I'm in uh, Terminal 21 in Bangkok, this is my first stop on this new series where I'm going to do a bike trip, I think as far up as Con Can and I'm going to stop at about four or five places on the way. So first stop of course is Bangkok, it wasn't a very good trip this morning, halfway through it started pouring rain. Luckily I had the wet weather gear, got out, quickly changed into it, but I did get a little bit wet, but none of my camera gear or my computer got wet, so that was okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you, I've just come here to have one of my favourite foods in Terminal 21, and I'll show you this place and I recommend it. If you're going to come to Bangkok, if you're going to come to Terminal 21, you've got to come to this place and have this meal. It is superb okay so where am i looking there's that damn camera on this phone that's it over there okay so i'm going to turn it around now i'll just stop for a minute and uh, it'll go fix up in the edit, edit. Uh, this will probably come out about two or three days into the trip when i get a hotel room with uh, uh, some wi-fi so that i can do some editing and stuff like that so i've talked about this place be before i've posted some photos it's called Havazid. Okay, it's on level 4 of Terminal 21. And uh, it's not far from the escalators as you can see. They do uh, lots of really nice desserts. Really nice smoothies. A lot of really good Thai food and uh, other types of food. But I've come here today for the uh, pork leg which is a German a German type dish I'm just having a look through there it is there okay German pork hocks and it is absolutely superb comes with uh, a little bit of rice and some somtam but this is one of the best pork dishes I've ever eaten in my life I come here every time I come to Bangkok you got to come here. Okay, so it's called Have a Z when it comes out and uh, I break into it and pull the bone out and it just falls off the bone and I'll show you then. So Have a Z. Really good stuff. Always really friendly and helpful. Yeah, so Have a Z. More Sit later. Menu. Fried pork. Fried chicken wings. Soup. Pork soup. Rice, the pork leg hasn't come out yet. So, I'm just going to pull it off the bone, the meat here. You can see it's the crackling is uh, really, really crispy, and uh, it just falls off the bone, as you can see. The bone just comes out like that. Just too easy. Look at that, and, and there you have. Beautiful. Look at that. Juicy. Just fantastic. Okay. So there you have it. Pork cool, cool. So here I am. I'm in Soy 4 in Bangkok. Usually a hive of activity. This is where all the bars are, Nana Plaza and such. You know, there's a little bit of traffic around, people going home from work and whatnot, but there's absolutely nothing going on. Nothing at all. So I'm going to switch the camera back around and go for a walk up Soy 4 and just show you uh, the dire situation that's uh, going on. Okay, Soy 4. Soy 4 circumvit. Nana. few massage places open but not many customers I haven't got a mask on I better put my mask on just hang on a second these bikes are people that work around here and such you can see a fair bit of work going on they've actually fixed the road
plenty of freelancers still around the place. Hillary One is open, but it's not really a bar, it's a restaurant. They sell food so they can open. All the other ones are closed. This bar's open, the tavern, because they sell food. Hillary across the road is closed. 7-Eleven's always open. There's a few people wandering around, but it's uh, very, very, very quiet. Most of the girls have gone home. The only ones left here are freelancing on the street. Freelance aerobics. If you don't know what freelancing is, you shouldn't be watching these videos about Thailand. But freelancing. Freelance aerobics. Fitzgerald's is open. Often have a feed there. I always stay down here, down this way. There's quite a few expats that live here that eat there regularly. And uh, yeah, this is another Hillary's. It's closed. People in there. And some people actually live there. There's a few restaurants open, catering to the uh, occasional uh, farang tourist, farang you know, foreigners that uh, live and work in Bangkok. Spas open. Check as British pub because they sell food. If they sell food, they can stay open. Some massage places open, but not many customers. Not many customers, yeah. Very hard business for you now, yeah. My mitang, tang mid noi, non tinai, me hong or non tini, non tini, yeah. So the girls telling me that they're not making any money. They don't have a room. They stay at the massage place, and no customers. Very hard for everyone. Covid my dear, yeah. You can see it's dark, deserted, and uh, usually this place is absolutely jam-packed. I've been here on some nights where you could hardly walk. You had to walk on the street because the footpath was so crowded with people. And, uh, yeah, just no good. No good at all. I've eaten in this place. It's absolute shit. Don't ever go here. Charlie's Kitchen. It was shit. I asked for uh, sushi, it was really expensive. They said it was fresh. They put it on the plate and I bit into it and it was still frozen. Yeah, so no good. Another couple of big bars here that had just closed down. As you can see across the road here, even Hooters is closed down. Everything's closed. Those are the big main bars here in uh, Soy 4. Striker Sports Club over there, that'll be closed. Some people eking out a living from the few people that are around, selling food on the side of the street. These bars here closed down, Hillary's and another one that's not Hillary's, I think it's called uh, All Day or All Night or something and that's also owned by the Hillary's group, they own quite a few of the clubs. So, Sukhumvit Road up there. Morning Night it's called, that's owned by the Hillary's group too. So they own quite a few here. Stumble in, big dogs. Look at Nana Plaza. Usually that's just full of people. And uh, totally closed down now. This is my one of my favourite little spots here. Little Mexican, little Mexican restaurant. Sawadee kap, kung sabadi mai. And no, uh, they do really good food here. I recommend this place. This lady is really friendly, really helpful, and they se she sells really good food. Really good food. I come here often. 
and it's just opposite Nana Plaza, the world's largest adult playground. Grim times, grim times for Bangkok. No people, there's another vlogger there walking around like me trying to find some content there's not much content to be had so yeah not many tuk-tuk drivers around the tuk-tuk drivers doing it exceptionally tough very hard yeah my me tongue my me con my me con pit yeah so even Hooters is closed down now the last time I was in Bangkok that was actually open because they sell food in there so I'm not sure what's going on there <clears throat> very very quiet it's sad you know if you understand you know a lot of the girls that actually work in these bars applying their uh, wares, their horizontal aerobics. They have no money even for a room. And the condo that I'm staying in now, everyone has moved out because no one has money to pay for their room anymore. And um, no one has money to pay for their room or pay for their food and so they've gone home. Some are destitute on the streets and uh, a lot of those have turned to um, yabba which is like a mix of speed and heroin amphetamines and heroin and they're pretty off their faces they live in the streets they're dirty they don't even get the shower yeah so yeah rest hub pub and bar closed that's usually a vibrant place a nice little pub a lot of the lights are on but no one at home you might say yeah so this is the sad state of affairs that is uh, soy for nana the main entertainment hub in Bangkok a few expat expats here having a beer at uh, Fitzgerald's so um, uh, it's nice to meet you, man. you guys live in Bangkok I assume yeah that's yeah. yeah. so pretty tough on everyone here eh, in, in Soy 4 sorry say again pretty tough on everyone here all the girls oh, very man, very uh, difficult it's so I don't know how they survive actually well they don't they've all most of them have gone home the condo I'm staying in everyone's left off the floor that I'm staying in they've all gone home this lady works yeah, two days, not enough. Just enough to pay for your room, yeah? Uh, everyone that only works six days in the four months. Yeah. Six days a month. It's yeah. sad, man, it's sad. Yeah, it is. You know? It's still right. you know, To be honest, you know, this lockdown is inconvenient for us, that's all. It's just inconvenient. Yeah, but it's only a slight inconvenience yeah, for us. Matter. We still have, have yeah. money, yeah. you know? I mean, I have my pension, I live on a pension, you know? But I live, I live in Cha Am, so... Yeah, Pension just day to day. Yeah. They need to open these bars and give these people a living. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what they are. Yeah. And as always, it's the little people who have the most. Yeah. And it, it's not the bars that it's going to be spread in. That's the very least. If they can open the shopping malls, why can't they open the bars? I agree. Under the same situation, How you know. How often have we gotten sick drinking alcohol? Never gotten sick. Right. <laughs> this man said, you heard it here first on Thailand Dreaming. This man has never been sick from drinking alcohol. <laughs> never drink the water, I'll need to drink alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to be honest, man, the, the, the Thai government have got this virus under control. What's your general opinion? You feel safe? Yeah. You feel safe? Yeah. You feel safe? Feel in Bangkok? Yeah. yeah. And are you guys you guys are retired or you work here in Bangkok? Too old to work. Too old to work? Semi retired. Yeah, semi retired. So 
you're not out every day in the office or working at the hospital or anything like that so yeah okay gentlemen I really appreciate you talking to me and I appreciate your opinions and uh, good luck I'm gonna keep going all right then appreciate I do appreciate your opinions okay you too guys enjoy bye bye So, yeah, some opinions there on the uh, COVID situation and uh, some opinions on my taking this time to travel up north, although there's very little COVID where I'm going. There's a little bit in Bangkok, but nowhere near here. And uh, my point was that, you know, if they can open all the big malls, why can't they open the bars? This is another Hillary bar. This one's closed down as well. I have a couple of friends that work here. Hillary One, which is a restaurant, so they can open. So I've got to go to the ATM now. So that's it. As you can see, the girls at Fitzgerald, they're spreading their work around. They get to work two days a week each. So just barely enough to buy a little bit of food and pay for their rooms. Okay, that's it for now folks. Ciao for now.